Next, I will talk to Peter Staus, who is co-founder of Frédéric Constant and Alpina, about mechanical watches, hybrid watches and smartwatches. Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, head of content of watchadvisor.com. I am at Baselworld 2019 with me, Peter Staas. Welcome, Peter. Thank you. He is uh, the founder, together with his lovely wife, Aletta, of Frédéric Constant Alpina. Meanwhile, you sold the company to the Citizen Group, but you're still here, active? Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Peter, um, if we look out of your stand, wide open space. Yeah. How do you new environment? New environment. New environment. So how do you no. deal with it? I think there's someone missing. Huh? Listen, we decided to stay, okay. and actually uh, we've had quite an interesting day. Uh, a lot of people, uh, not much different from from previous years. Uh, I also checked. We have about 1,100 uh, meetings during the the six days that we are here. But I also see when you go outside uh, that it is more empty than before. I think so. Huh? So, of course, um, we see that uh, quite some brands have left. Um, yeah. And because of that also, you, you, you notice that there are less retailers because they used to come to some of the other brands. So, uh, what I can say, it's a pity. I, I think it's not no. good for the industry. No. Um, Absolutely not. This problem started probably 15 years ago when the Richemont Group left and went to Geneva. And now in the past years, a uh, number of mistakes were made and, and, and everything accelerated uh, recently. So I don't think it's good for the, uh, for the watch industry, this, no. this fragmentation. Uh, I know that some people are outside, some people in Zurich, some people in Geneva. Uh, and you also hear the, cus the customers are not happy with it either. I don't, I could, I, if, if I would be a retailer and I would have to travel around to get all my brands, my goodness. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's better to have everything or everyone under one roof or, or two roofs. Of course. Two yeah. roofs would be okay. So it's so, up, up to the Basel Fair uh, to really to invite those brands back to, yeah, and, and make, to, to make, to make it happen. Yeah, I think so. But meanwhile, uh, there's also an advantage. Uh, let's say uh, you are now one of the few brands offering really uh, good value for money. Because uh, I was talking a lot about Swatchco brands when they still were here because they have companies offering the same. But now you are almost one of the few companies offering really value for money. I've just been mm -hmm. taping some videos with some of your products. Amazing prices, amazing quality, in-house movements, integration of smart functions in a mechanical watch, smart watches. You have everything mm -hmm. and for very reasonable prices. Yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, there's always been the strategy, uh, both on being accessible uh, to reach younger younger customers, yeah. uh, the 30 to 45 years uh, uh, of age people who do not yet have a budget of five to ten thousand Swiss francs or five to ten thousand euro, five to ten thousand US dollars. Small differences, um, but still small a lot difference, of money. but still a lot of money. Yeah? We're really strong there in the one thousand to five thousand segment. Yeah coming there with a beautiful uh, range of, of, of mechanical pieces, yeah. but also smart uh, watches nowadays, and analog smart and the combination. Yeah. Um, I know we are offering that, maybe and there are a little bit less companies outside, but still we have to realize uh, that the retailers themselves, when they go back to their shop, they still have those other brands. So they may buy a little bit more here, but they also need to keep some budget for, for their other brands, uh, unless they decide maybe to replace somebody and give us more space. But that, that's not really the way it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you may increase a little bit, but in the end, in the shop environment, we're still with our typical set of brands, typical mm -hmm. set of competitors. Yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of um, um, uh, continuing to develop the smartwatch, uh, because I was asked today also from uh, from uh, uh, television stations, from other journalists, how is the Swiss uh, the Swiss industry going to react? Um, do you have any more plans to be more present in the segment? You have the Alpina X, of course, but are you planning to go even more deeper into that segment? So, first of all, I would like to mention again, uh, we started with this already in 2014. Eh? We were one of the earliest, or probably the, the, the number Early one, adapter, the yeah. number one uh, yeah. as a traditional watch brand, a Swiss brand, to go into smartwatches. So, we started with the electronic ones, 
uh, then we came with the hybrid one, so a mechanical one with smart functions. We came with um, what we call uh, yeah, an Anna digit one, so both hands um, and and a screen. Yeah. Big success, yeah. big success. And one of the main things here I always tell is that we still have a dial. We have a screen below, uh, so you have the possibility to communicate with the customer. Uh, but when the screen goes dark, we still have this beautiful design. Where the, where, and that's really compared to the black boxes, where we feel we have an advantage versus the big guys. Mm -hmm. Now, you talk, uh, if you ask me what is happening and what's going to come, so with the success of the Alpine RX, we're now working on, um, on a color screen, a color touch screen, mm -hmm. uh, including possibilities to have uh, apps on that, comparable to, uh, to, to what Android or Android Wear is doing and what Apple's doing. Mm -hmm. um, we're also adding uh, the heart rate sensor in, uh, in a number of watches uh, that are going to come on the market, both for Frederic Constant and Alpina. So integrated in the watch? Integrated okay. in the watch. And it's actually really a super accurate uh, heart rate. Uh, also, we have collaboration with two companies on AFib. Uh, which claim, including uh, clinically proven, uh, that their AFib is more accurate than Apple's. Uh, this will be a 2020 product, but we are uh, studying how to integrate that into our platform. Mm -hmm. So which would really be a, a major step forward. And that brings me then also uh, what we already introduced today, which is really a, a, a new app experience with much more uh, interaction with the customer, more feedback, uh, insights based on an AI engine that has been trained on 1.2 billion health records, uh, activity, sleep and heart rate, uh, where um, with uh, an, a dedicated uh, AI company, we found 152 correlations mm -hmm. that are now being implemented into the app and will which also are going to be implemented into the Alpiner X HR. Mm -hmm. So we really go into that health area uh, by all means, because we, we feel that that's where the industry is going. Still, the watches should be beautiful. That's the reason of being for the Swiss industry. But I think it, it, it's, it's no longer really prudent to try and tell that, that this wave will go away. Uh, we've seen on U2, uh, we've talked about this before, but increasingly you see uh, people in our age group who have put their uh, 20,000 uh, uh, Swiss francs Swiss watch on the site and are walking around with an apple. Yeah, uh, it's clear why. Uh, the apple is Garmin offered or, or with a Garmin, Garmin there. The newest it's generation, yeah. The newest so, generation, so it's, it's so really... It's, uh, so you're one of the few one really to take the business seriously, the, the smart business, because it's that segment that is really decreasing dramatically, that price segment. It's really the, 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 the higher price levels are doing good, you are perfectly set up with your mechanical things, you have done your homework, but yeah. uh, now you're really uh, one of the few guys uh, with your team to say, okay, we should take care of those. Yeah, exactly. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> smart products smart. for smart people. Smart product for smart people. As I told you, um, Frédéric Constant Alpina really has the whole range of in-house movements for attractive prices, down to both the hybrid and down to smart. Yeah, smart. Very good. Okay. Um, in case of um, company being sold to uh, to um, citizen, you will stay for another committed. You have have you been committing for another? Yeah, we have committed at least for years to stay. Okay. Um, so, uh, so for the we'll time being, pleasure and to re uh, yeah. being. Uh, so I will have the pleasure to be able to interview again. Absolutely. Will not be the last one. Absolutely, will not be the last one. Good. Good message. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have offered you the scene here to say goodbye. <laughs> no, 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 actually we're working on a lot of new things, uh, which are, which are the things I just mentioned before. Yeah, yeah of course. A lot of that is really a uh, work in uh, progress. So, yeah. um, and uh, we see also that other companies now are starting to be open uh, for this More field. More open than More before. More open than yeah. before. 
Um, and it's necessary. Yeah? If you see um, the, the market data, IDC was here this morning and they presented everything very clearly like they always do. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, there are like 75 million smartwatches being sold, uh, have been sold in 2018. And they expect again, Apple grew 32%. They expect again between 25 and 30% growth um, in 2019. So you will have more than 100 million smartwatches sold. So it, it, it really, it's, it's, it has taken already a, a, a significant share and everybody expects, at least the people who take this seriously, that this growth will continue. Mm. So we have, to, we have to participate in that part of the industry. If we don't do that in that segment, that market segment, if we don't do that, we leave it to others. Mm. Nicely said. Peter, thank you very much again. Um, for having me and uh, for offering me this office <laughs> because I was really presenting all the products first as I would be a sales rep here for you in the camera telling these uh, people who are lo uh, looking um, how watches are sold. Hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. Peter Stas, the founder okay. of the company together with his wife. Peter, thank you. Alexander. Guys, thank, thank you, you for very watching. Much. Uh, if you like what we're doing, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos. If you have any questions about what I'm doing, what I've been talking with Peter, use the comment section here just underneath. And I'm more than happy to answer your questions as always. And don't forget also to have a little look at what we're doing on Instagram and Facebook. Goodbye, guys, for today. It was the last thing for today. Peter, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.